This song is an absolute bop. So go ahead and listen to that. Seems to be that today we're going to be working on the Jeep over here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's not waste any time. So we're gonna do some more mods to the grill actually. And they're gonna be some like front runner style lights. They're just some amber lights that go right here. As a matter of fact, here they are right here. These are some amber lights that I got off Amazon, I believe. Thinking, I know Quadratech sells a kit, but their kit doesn't allow you to have like any of this stuff. There has to be kind of a clear path for like the mount to run. So, I kind of got inspired by theirs and I figured I could just make my own kit. And they're gonna mount up right here uh, on these two outside slots. I'm gonna have to make some custom brackets, but first I have to get off the grill. There are six of these uh, little tabs that hold the grill in. So you wanna pry the top, this little middle piece, up from the base. See, this little middle piece. Just wanna get a screwdriver on under through these notches. I don't have all mine in. It's not really necessary to run all of them. I'd say maybe you'd have to run two minimum maybe, keep it just to keep it on. If you don't want it to flop around like a duck, then probably four would do the trick. Next, I'm gonna take off my turn signals. Yeah, 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 Chris, Chris, Chris. That's disgusting. Look at that filthy grill. Well. I'm sorry, but at the same time, I'm not really sorry. I got my box cutter here, and I'm just gonna make a quick, a quick, quick cardboard template. Alright guys, so this is my first test fit and as you guys can maybe see from this angle, it's pointing up a little bit. So it needs a little bit more bending. I threaded this hole down here. It was a, originally a hole to hold in the grill, but the screw will hold just fine. I had to drill it out just a little bit, as you guys can see in comparison from this hole to this hole. I just cut it out right there, pretty much at the edge. Bolt fits through. Might throw a washer on there, but I don't know. But I'm about to take this off and do some more bending. So here is my second test fit of the day. Made another bend in it. So you can see, I added this bend right here. Now that is, uh, that's not half bad. There you go. Perfectly in the center. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim this all around this with a angle grinder, kind of clean it up, spray it with some black. And this first bracket is done. All right guys, so this is my bracket and my harness I created. Something really weird about these amber lights is that the white wire goes to the ground and the black goes to the positive. Uh, because I wired it, up, wired it up normally assuming that black was ground and they didn't work and I was kind of concerned. I'm about to test them out again, put everything together and see how it looks. What's up guys? Welcome back to the shop. Today, I bought a mini fridge. What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today, very interesting, I got my mini fridge as you guys just saw. 
Check this thing out. Put the water in it. Ketchup. I'm a guy who loves cold ketchup, or at least refrigerated ketchup. Today, uh, I'm finishing up a mod I was working on yesterday, and it's actually some running lights. Uh, kind of like a forerunner style. There you go. Don't mind the silicone. I'm going to redo that. Um, but this is the point I got to pretty much yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and just knock it out, finish the mod. I just got to make another bracket. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and 